All right, there are a few small uh, concepts, uh, two concepts that we need to understand for this course, to understand what we're building, to understand why I chose Vanilla.js to do it. There are two things. One thing is a website, and another thing is a web application. So when I go to a page, for example, this is, this is the way you can think about it. When I go to a page to consume content, when I just sit back and consume, uh, usually that could be a website. So for example, um, a news page, a news, I don't know, news or Reddit or stuff like I am not making the, I'm not making the, um, content and I'm just being like a passive consumer where there is not much interactivity from my part where I don't get to click so much. I don't get to move so much where it doesn't have to be instant. So for example, this is a good example. This website, Electron, if I come to docs, I think as you can see, the application refreshes. It's not instant. I click, I go to a page, I consume, I got it. It's a reference. I go back. Let me go to the blog, for example. I go to the blog, all right, cool. I click here, I go to the blog post. This is a website. A website is something that is very, it's not very interactive. It's all about content. It's all about the me consuming it and not doing so much stuff on it. Now, when we talk about an application, a web application, it's something more like I go and I click, I move, I discover, I search, I drag, I drop that would be an application. So for example, a web app would be something like Instagram. No, actually Instagram is not an application because I cannot do anything here. If I go to Instagram, I can do almost nothing. I just come here. I can just click. Yeah, it's a, this is a website. This is a cool website, but that, that's it. I just can see something and I'm good to go. It's not too much, not too much. Now, a web application would be something like Netflix, for example, where the movies are very showing up there, pa, 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 and where I can just filter, I can search more, I can click, I can pause, I can look at the video, I can blah, 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 blah. So that would be a web application. Now, web applications are usually not done with React Native, and this is because the interactivity is a little bit hard to make with vanilla JS. In this course, we are going to take a web app such as YouTube and we're going to kind of turn it into a website. Of course, it's going to be interactive. We'll be able to click. We'll be able to press play. We'll be able to record, but it's not going to be as interactive as a web app would be. Okay. So this would be, this should be the rule of thumb that you should have whenever you're making a website and whenever you're deciding, should I do JavaScript vanilla or should I do something else that I will learn later? This is, if it's super interactive, then I, it, it should be a web application. And React.js and all this stuff that you don't know yet are very, very good for an application. Just like what you saw before, React Native, this is for mobile applications. Uh, sometimes you don't even need this. Sometimes you don't even need React Native. You don't even need Electron. You don't even need React. All you need is vanilla JavaScript. Because when you don't need to make when you don't need to make a web application, you can just make a website. That's it. When you cannot make when you don't need to make a mobile application, you can just make a mobile website, and you're good to go. And it will help you uh, accomplish your goals faster. So, to finish this introduction, websites, web apps, very different. What we're gonna build is going to be a website, taking stuff and going closer to what a web app would be and you're going to see we're going to do a couple of stuff interactive stuff that is going to show you why javascript in vanilla exactly is not so good at interactivity and a web app but it's very good at building something like a website and adding small pieces of interactive stuff so that's it web app websites very different what we're going to do we take a web app we make it a website and we try to get as close as we can to our web app with vanilla JS. That'll, that'll be it. Thank you and see you on the next. Bye bye.